Hey there guys, my name is Marquez and in this video I'm going to teach you how you can easily use Yardbook. Yardbook is a good software that you can use for landscaping business and I'm going to teach you how you can manage your customer data, how you can generate estimates, schedule jobs, literally everything. So let's start. The first thing you want to do is when you're going to be in Yardbook, click here, join today free. Now I will just add here my email address and I will add a password. So let's just use the random one here. I accept the privacy and terms. And then I'm not a robot. Click here, register. Okay, now when you got it, uh, you just have to add your name. Business name, address. Okay, Atlanta. I just added the phone number if you want to, referral code if you have one and just change the time zone. Then just click save here. Okay. Give me a second. I just add some random address. Okay, and now zip code, nice, click save. Okay, let's just wait now and voila, here we are. So when we are in a yard book, uh, you're going to see the dashboard where you would find your new customers, new estimates, new invoices and payment received. Uh, on the top right, you can edit your account with adding your employees and settings. But the most important thing is on the left side. So right here, are you going to see the side map? In the side map, uh, you can literally see everything so we don't have to work with here but you can see my customers uh, jobs activities and you can see literally everything here then you're gonna see settings that you can change your company details here uh, you can show or hide many items uh, that you can edit those so you can add let's say that i want to show expenses and then you would see right here that I get to see the expenses. So you can disable or enable menu items based on your preference. And now what I'm going to do, I'll just click here save. So we can literally edit it as much as you want. So when I have it, then I have also calculators here and let's camp in calculators. So we can go with mulch, topsoil, gravel, plant, and uh, you can calculate it. That's what you can do. And then you have to do these items uh, in the fourth menu. So schedule a call, save. And let's say that, okay, I need to schedule a call and I can have it as a done. So this is what you can do here. When you're gonna click on the customers, this is the first thing we are going to do. You can simply click add here. And now, you can add a first name, Marcus client, phone, I'll add it right here. Then you have email here, optional, okay. And I have a billing address here and everything, zip code, business name, prospect. Yes, this is a potential prospect. So this is like simple. Uh, formula how we can easily add a first name last name and billing address click save and this is how we can add your customer so right here what you can do uh, i'm not going to do it straight away you can add a job to the client task estimate you can add an invoice property and program so that's how it works and that's how we can do it and you can add multiple properties to your client that you have and then you're going to see invoices, payments. You can simply edit everything on your client. So that's pretty good. 
Now let's go further. When we have the customers, we can click here on job. So what I'm going to do, I can click here job task visit. I'm going to plus job here. And now description business as usual. Property address. Customer name. Okay, Marcus client. So I just wrote the Marcus client here and I can see it. I can set it as recurring or what I can do is to choose, let's say it's going to be start at 1st of April and start time, I don't know, 10 a.m. Products, products and services, I don't have any yet, but you will be able to add them. Click here to view your catalog. And this is the catalog that I have that, okay, you can simply add your service here too. So let's say that I'm going to add the grass cutting. Grass cutting, price zero. And what you can do is to edit also the price here, 50. So I'm going to grass cutting price 50. So I added uh, the catalog by clicking here, click here to view your catalog. And then I just simply added the grass cutting. Now I got a new job. Click save. When I'm going to click on uh, jobs. So uh, I'm going to have it for the next week. Business as usual. Assign uh, this is going to be to me. Change me and start date. And then you can have it as edit or done. So this is how you can have a job. Then you have estimates here. Again, plus estimate. And again, customer info, select the customer. This is me. This is the customer info. And what I can do, I can add an item and grass cutting as I have it in my thing. Quantity one unit price 50. So you can also edit the costs. You can have more details here. And what you have to do, you just click save. And actions to write, create a similar, and this is pretty much it how we do it. And you can also uh, change the invoice style here if you want to, but this is pretty much it how it is. So this is how you can uh, create it. And this is how you can create estimate. And you can see it right here that we have an estimate. The next thing are invoices. Invoices is really simple. Click here plus new invoice. And again, select the customer. I'm going to add an item here. Grass cutting. Again, you can choose which service you want. Okay, I have a discount here past due. A subtotal taxes. You can edit those. And when you have it. When you prepared for it, uh, you're going to have like the invoice has been sent to the customer. Once a payment is received, you can record it to the actions menu. And you can set it to paid or create a recurring invoice. So I can, uh, let's say that set to paid. And as you can see, we got it. And set to pending payment that is like already finished. So see, and this is pretty much it how we do it. Now, when I'm going to click on the invoices, I can see the invoice and as you can see, it's already paid. Then I got to see the chemicals here. And again, you can add uh, chemicals. This is also straightforward as a product name, active ingredients, application method, manufacturer. And as you can see, it's pretty complex what you can actually achieve and what you can do. Then I got to see the expenses in here. Uh, this is straightforward. You just have to add the expense, a month category, and then you have like standard category expense categories here, dump fees and save. So as you amount four dollars category dump fees, uh, then you're going to see equipment here. 
With the equipment, you can simply click add. And you can edit that too. Name, walk behind mower, model string name, serial number, purchase price, storage location, assigned to. So you can have the new equipment here. And then you're going to see sitemap. As I mentioned, this is right here uh, that you can add a task, you can add a job, estimates, invoices change literally everything here <clears throat> and have also like your company and what you can do is to under employees click view all employees and you can add multiple employees here this is also pretty straightforward and you just add here the first name marcus employee job title contact info save and now when I'm going to have a job, etc., what I can do, I can simply uh, like just assign it and I have like edit access here. Job title and everything. I can add a login access to the employee and this is pretty much it how it works. But as I mentioned, go to the settings next to the uh, next to the side map. And just scroll down below and my recommendation is really edit those many items what do you actually need and what you don't need as a roads geolocations payment reminders card on file customer extension uh yard book is really complex what you can actually achieve with it uh, if i have to do the tutorial it will take me like 40 minutes to explain you every single thing how you can use it my recommendation is let me know down below what you would like to know like time sheets weather view card on file and I will create a tutorial on it. I know that sometimes I'm a little bit fast, but um, I think Yardbook is pretty simple to understand how you can actually use it and how you can optimize it. So thank you very much guys for watching. If you have any questions, uh, just ask me down in the comments. I will be really happy to help you and provide some guidance. Also, when you would click on a dashboard, I would see uh, things here that I did as a new invoice, new estimate, and I could add a new customer and I would see it here. Also, what you can do is when you would scroll down below, you would see reports that you can create simple reporting system or more complex reporting system. And that's pretty much it. So thank you very much, guys, for watching. Have a great day and goodbye. See you.